You're my summoner's court opponent, Professor Ronan. Indeed I am. <laughs> Professors are allowed to have fun once in a while too, you know. Of course. I look forward to playing against you. And I you. I've been playing this for eons, so you haven't the chance of winning. How about we get started anyway? I'm ready. No time like the present. Akio! And there you have it. Yet another opportunity to learn and improve. Akio! I do not recall teaching you how to play like that. Akio! We all make mistakes. Akio! And there you have it. Yet another opportunity to learn and improve. Ordinarily, I might consider a tie inconclusive. Today, however, it has allowed me to conclude that you are quite a talented spellcaster. Uh, not to worry. I haven't been beaten by a student yet. Care to go another round? I would. I'd like a chance to improve my record. Excellent. Akio! Akio! I do not recall teaching you how to play like that. Akio! That's no way to treat a professor. We all make mistakes. Akio. Well now, nicely played. Delightful to see such mastery from one your age. Well done. You've beaten me at my own game. I had a good teacher. A flatterer, I see. <laughs> Although I dare say it's not unwarranted. I shall accept the compliment humbly. As the new Summoner's Court champion, you have earned a token of recognition. Do not let it go to your head.
I hope Professor Fig got my owl. I need to tell him and the keepers that Ranrock knows where the last repository is. According to the owl I received, Ranrock is moving more quickly than we could have anticipated. This is great news indeed. We had hoped for more time to discuss the best path forward. Let us hear what the student has to say. Professor, you received my owl. Ranrock has the last of Bragbor's journals. He killed Lodgok to get it. He knows where the last repository is. Godric's heart. Lodgok. Lodgok and Ranrock were brothers. Lodgok was bringing the journal to me. Ranrock is a monster. We need to know where the final repository is. Surely this changes things. Ranrock has Bragbor's journals and knows where the final repository is. We obliviated Bragbor. He kept journals? Why would he have documented all of this? He didn't know what we were containing. Isadora told Bragbor about the magic when she asked him to build a container for her. I've seen her memories. Isadora left memories for someone to find? You know what she did? Her memories showed what she did for her father, which I also saw in Professor Rookwood's pensive. And a conversation with Bragbor in which she expressed frustration about the limits being placed on her use of ancient magic. Based upon the memories they have seen, I believe our young friend is well aware of the grave circumstances in which we find ourselves. The next trial will involve an exceptional level of magical skill and a nuanced ability to interact with beasts. Find a face of stone and tendrils. I should advise you that you must engage with any beast that is part of the trial on your own. Professor Bakar will meet you in his pensive room. An exceptional level of magical skill? Nuanced ability to interact with beasts? Hmm. I suppose we should begin our search for a face of stone and tendrils. Whatever that may be. Very well. Professor Weasley has been keeping an eye on me. Perhaps we should meet there, so she has no reason to raise concerns with Professor Black. I shall see you near the coast. Perhaps then you can tell me a little more about the memories of Isadora that you witnessed. You're here. I have good news. We do not have any of Ranrock's loyalists to contend with. Of course, the bad news is that it's likely because they no longer need to track the Keepers for information. Revelio! Confringo! Is that a...? It is. I believe I know what must be done. Do you recognize the head sculpted there? It looks like a grap horn. And the prints carved into the ground lead me to believe that a grap horn will somehow open the way forward. That's what Professor Rackham meant when he spoke of my needing an ability to interact with beasts. It would seem so. I do know that the last of a long dynasty of grap horns lives nearby. They call him the Lord of the Shore. I suspect you'll need to bring him here. What happens next, I can't say. Have you ever subdued a grap horn, Professor? I have, yes. Years ago, at Stonehenge, of all places. The Ministry still owes me for that favour. It can be difficult, of course. They are massive, after all. But it's not impossible. It's my experience that many of your spells will have no real effect. You'll need to wear him down. 
If that's what must be done, I'll do it. Excellent. I know this area well enough. When you see the remains of a large sea creature, you're in the right place. Now, Professor Rackham made it clear that you must engage with any beast that is part of this trial on your own. So I shall wish you good luck and wait for your return in the map chamber. Someone messing about. This must be the place. away from here and not taking a walk you with me since you've all turned yourselves into a pack of jarby. Revelio. Very well, Lord of the Shore. Show yourself.
Here we go. Go! I need to race now, my friend. Poachers. Let's see how the Lord of the Shore feels about his neighborhood being invaded. No! Found ya! Rookwoods don't go down easy. Slow down now. There we go. No need to race now, my friend. Yeah. It'll take more than this to stop the Lord of the Shore. That <coughs> perfect target. We're crossing that bridge, whether you like it or not. I've heard one has to always keep an eye on one. Time for you all to clear out. Ah. No, you're there. You're gonna regret coming. Revelio. Perhaps Professor Rakham was right to have had faith in you. I still have my reservations. Isadora, as you will see, was not who she seemed. I can only hope that you are. 
My memories should answer any questions you may have about the power you will need to protect. Thank you, Professor Bakar. I shall see you back in the map chamber. Revelio. Hello? Isadora? Isadora? Oh. Mr. Morganak, I... Mr. Morgan? Son, I'm glad you're here. Isadora was not at her home. I know. Her father. Oh, Percival. What is it? It is as though he was stripped not only of his pain, but of all emotion. Everything is much worse than I feared. Neve was right. Isadora hasn't stopped. I've just learned that she has been wielding that magic on students. We must gather the others. I need you to return to your common room, all right? What have you done? Your breath. Students, Isadora. Everyone feels pain. And why? Because of your arrogance? Your obsession with secrets? He won't suffer any longer. Not my father. Not my students. No one. Isadora, set down your wand. Professor, you taught me to hone my power, not throw it away. I did not teach you this. Expelliarmus! <laughs>
Revelio. The caverns below Hogwarts, where you fought Isadora. Is that the location of the final repository? It is. You see, we could not destroy the strands of emotion Isadora had stolen from so many. So we did all that we could to keep them safe. We also realized that until they could be destroyed, the magic used to create them was a danger to wizard kind. Hence, we became keepers. Keepers of an unfathomable secret. We knew that someday, one with the ability to see traces of ancient magic might be seduced by its power. We built the trials to lead that person to us, to allow them to prove themselves worthy of the knowledge we'd kept hidden and the responsibility that accompanies it. Have I not proven myself, Professor? I need to get to that repository before Ranrock does. You have, and you will. But the repository is protected by powerful ancient magic. To enter, you must craft a special wand from the four artifacts you found above our pensives. So the repository is safe from Ranrock for now. If he is, as you suspect, capable of using the power of the other repository, I fear he will be able to breach our defenses. Then I must go now and craft this wand. Perhaps Mr. Ollivander will help me. Another Ollivander? I'm not surprised. As I am sure he will tell you, this wand may be used for only one purpose. Return with the wand, and we will open the way forward. I shall send an owl ahead to Ollivander. Whilst you visit him, I'll reach out to Professor Weasley. Professor Weasley? Yes. I may have made an error in judgment by not informing her of Ranrock's intentions earlier. I only hope it's not too late. If Ranrock really is going to try to drill below Hogwarts, we'll need all the help we can get. All right, Professor. I'll see you soon. She's devastated. She just buried your uncle alone. I did it for her. Sebastian, Anne can't bear the thought of turning you in, but... What? Turn me in? She saw what happened. I'll give you some time to think, Sebastian. Turn me in? Sebastian. Did you hear that? You saw what happened. 
I never wanted to hurt my uncle. I know. I can't believe he's gone. How did things go so wrong? I didn't mean it. I didn't mean to... Oh, Anne, I was only trying to help. I can't leave now. Anne needs me more than ever. You understand. You can talk to Ominous. Make him understand. He listens to you. I need to be with Anne. Don't worry, Sebastian. I shall speak with Ominous. Thank you. You're a good friend, truly. No matter what happens from here, I'm glad we met. Poor Sebastian. Ominous? What a mess. I can't believe it. After I last saw you, I went straight to Hogwarts. Before I had time to talk to Black, I heard from Anne. I rushed to Feldcroft and found her with Solomon's body. She was beside herself with grief. Part of her wants Sebastian to face the consequences, another part can't bear the thought of it. I don't want to lose Sebastian, but I don't think we have a choice. We do have a choice. What good will it do to turn him in now? He clearly regrets everything. He's not going to do anything like this again. We've both heard that before. But we also need to think about Anne. She's lost her health, now she's lost her uncle. Do you really want to take her brother away from her too? I... I understand what you're saying. Perhaps you're right. As much as I believe that Sebastian should pay for his actions, we'd only be punishing Anne as well. I hope we're doing the right thing. I'll talk to Anne. If it comes from me, she'll agree with this decision. Thank you, Ominous. You're a good friend. Whatever lies ahead, we must face it together. That I know. I know where we can find Doran. Meet me in the Forbidden Forest and we can tell him about the symbol the Mooncalves made. Rebellion. Rebellion. Rebellion.
Revelio. Accio. Revelio. Alohomora. Revelio. Our stout hearts with joy to be in the presence of such. Revelio. <laughs> Luma. I keep things clean as a whisper. Oh, what's that vile stench? Oh, what is that poultry doing? Shows no compassion. I deserve a location that warrants pride. What are you up to now? Lumos. Even Ferdinand Octavius Pratt gets hung pride and place and Revelio. Time for a jaunt, I'd say. And you say they made it after you placed the Moonstone? Do you know why, or what it means? Does it have to do with the Snidgets? The breadth of one's knowledge can be as wide as the seas, and yet only run so deep.
It's good to see you again, Doran. Did Poppy tell you about everything that's happened? She did. And I am glad to see that you are both safely returned. I did question the wisdom of sending you on a path at a time when that path was unknown at best. Deadly at worst. But the acumen of the centaurs is neither personal nor partial. The skies tell us what is to come, and often we do not know what we have seen until it has come to pass. You knew the poachers would try and kill Poppy and me. I did not know, my young friend, but I shall say that I was not surprised. It was in much the same manner that I expected our first meeting. I don't suppose you'd like to start from the beginning. I think Poppy and I could use that. Of course. I find it is often the best place to start, is it not? Many, many moons ago, I divined a series of events. Their meaning long evaded me, until you brought news of the Snidgets and their poacher pursuers. I believe the symbol created by the Mooncalves dance marks the place the Snidgets are hidden, and serendipitously, I believe that I know the very place. Please, go on. I have seen that symbol only once, on a rock face in the cliffs of the forest. You should make haste there. The Snidgets that have been kept there for so many years may no longer be safe. What makes you so sure the symbol is where the Snidgets are? I do not know. It is what I have read in the stars. Fortunes play out as they are intended. I am merely a messenger. I shall say that fortune favors us today. That you would show me a symbol whose provenance I recognize is not coincidence, but fate. You said you divined a series of events before our paths crossed. What were they? I saw the arrival of a stranger, the threat of an enemy, and the return of an old friend. I believe now that you are the strangers, the poachers are the enemy, and the old friends are the snidgets. I also saw two places tied to these events, the cave with the moonstone and the henge. The latter was bathed in moonlight. If you're right about this place, then we should make our way there. I shall see you there. We cannot afford to lose the Snidgets once again. Nice to see you, my young friend. Rebellion. How remarkable. I got here as soon as I could. Did you see the symbol above the entrance? It's the one the Mooncalf's made at the Henge. Of course, Doran implied as much, but to see it up there... Could this actually be where the Snidgets are hidden? Let's find out. Doran's waiting for us just up ahead. I'm ready if you are. Can you believe it? Actual Snidgets. I'm glad we seem to be a step ahead of the poachers. It is a little strange we haven't heard anything from them. If we're lucky, they're still poring over Gran's research. There was a fair amount. 
We, on the other hand, had Doran to guide us. Even if the poachers do somehow stumble upon this place, we shall be long gone. Uh. Revelio. Greetings. I hope we haven't kept you waiting long, Doran. Not at all. Then again, it is not I who awaits your arrival. Do you have the Moonstone with you? We do. Good. It is as important to what happens next as both of you are. So, what does happen next? What are these pillars here? A safeguard, I suspect. There is only one way to find out. And as for how to go about that, the two of you may know better than anyone. Lumos! Lumos. Confringer! Bombarder! Glacius! Revelio. Move at all. Revelio. in the darkness. Darkness. 
Here. Perhaps it has to do with the light in the darkness. Revelio. Protego Akio Perhaps it has to do with the light in the darkness. Perhaps it has to do with the light in the darkness. That did it! Look, Torn, a doorway! I suspect we all know what lies beyond that passage. And now... I'm afraid I must leave you. At least for a time. You're not coming in with us. If the Snidgets are here, the herd will want to see the truth of it for themselves. Elec especially. Go on without me. I will rejoin as soon as I am able. Lumos. Lumos. Revelio. Lumos. Lumos. Revelio. Lumos.
Revelio. So many books. You haven't seen my grand study. Lumos. Look at the murals on the wall. They're all creatures. This place must have been built to protect them. They had nothing to fear. What makes you say that? The poacher camps always felt oppressive. It's hard to explain, but the feeling was palpable. At least to me. The sense I get here is of safety and calm. Quite the opposite of the poacher camps. Confringo! Revelio! Lumos! Revelio! Revelio. Rebellion. I'll wager this isn't the dead end it seems to be. But how to get through? Rebellion. Akio. Wingardium Leviosa. Rebellion. Let me answer. Lumos. Revelio. Lumos. Revelio. Lumos. Confringo. Lumos. Revelio. Whoever built this place certainly liked to read. And the books are all about creatures. Your brand would love it here. She Revelio. would. Revelio. I can't wait to tell you all about it. Revelio. Accio. Wingardium Leviosa. Glacius. Confringo. Revelio. 
ever. Look at this place. with us against your kind. I am glad to have witnessed this. I now believe all that Doran told me. They are the ones I saw. Revelio. Finish your work here, brother. All the events you divined have not yet come to pass. Rebellion. Now, all that remains is to break the charm. 
You want us to... I only ever wanted to see them safe, which they are. You should do it. themselves and surely once word gets out of their reappearance <sighs> no harm will come to them the centaurs will see to that you have my word thank you doran for helping us to find them and to fight for them it is you who deserves the merit child you did what the poachers would never have remember that You both fought bravely today. Allow us to carry the mantle from here. If it's all right, Doran, I think I'd like to stay behind and spend a little more time with the Snidgets. Rebellion. Not my fault you're a deadly great spider. Revelio. Rebellion. Good bring them.
Revelio. Stone walls do. Confringo. Revelio. If only Professor Fink could have been that. 